In this video, we will build an AI crawler that can navigate through almost any website, then it will retrieve and return the data in well-structured form. All this will be done with my favorite automation tool, and you will never guess which one is it. But how are we going to achieve this? Let's break it down into details. Our crawler will use AI agent node in NA10. It will be equipped with two tools. The first one is URL tool, which will retrieve all the links from the specific page. And the second one is text tool to give the agent ability to retrieve the text and the context of the page. With those two tools, agent will be able to autonomously navigate through the website and decide which pages should be visited to retrieve the desired data. Let's say you want to retrieve the data from a specific page, for example, contact details. It can be a page like workflows.com. It's a really great page. Our agent will look through the links available on this page and navigate to the one that has the highest chances to have this information that you want to retrieve. In this case, it can be, for example, contact sub page. So our agent will visit this page and try to retrieve the data such as phone numbers, emails, and so on. This sounds amazing, but what are the downsides? While this kind of crawler is very easy to set up and can be used in variety of projects, it comes also with two major downsides. Since it operates on HTML code of the website, it's not able to perform actions on the website, such as typing or clicking. And when it comes to the extracting of the data, it relies fully on AI. So we should be prepared to have a percentage of hallucinations or parsing issues. With that in mind, let's dive into the project and see how it works. All right, so let's jump to the first workflow that we have here. And this one is responsible for retrieving social media profile links from the websites. Here we have uh, in the input and in the output uh, Superbase nodes. Uh, and basically we, we, we will use Superbase as our storage here. Uh, in the input table, we will have the uh, websites uh, that should be scraped. And in the output, we should uh, have stored the uh, enriched outputs. Um, basically, when I execute uh, this workflow right now, uh, you should see that the agent is using two tools. The first one is the text tool, and the second one is URLs tool. Uh, the agent is currently going one by one through those uh, websites and try to find uh, those uh, social media uh, profile links. And as you can see, it has been successful. So uh, right now in the super base, uh, we should see the uh, outputs. And yeah. This is how it is. Uh, we have here the three records that we had in an input table. However, those are right now enriched with social media column. And we click for the first record uh, for this column. Uh, you can see that those are the social media platforms uh, that have been extracted from the Airtable page. And the same is for the retool, for example. And also we have the similar ex um, execution output for, um, for NA10. And we, can, we can easily retrieve those information uh, from, from the websites using uh, the crawling agent. Um, however, let's jump more into details of those text and URLs tool. Okay, so this is the text tool. And this one is responsible for retrieving the whole text from the specific page. This is very useful for the agent because it gives more context on the page that is currently visiting. And what's more is used for retrieving the actual data. So we, when we want to, for example, retrieve the profile of the company, it's also used um, in this case. Uh, so basically what I have here is I have pinned the address of my landing page, which is workflows.com. And yeah, this is this landing page. And what we want to do here is to retrieve the whole text. As you may remember, I have also on my YouTube channel the video about uh, retrieving the text with Puppeteer. We have uh, we do here uh, something similar here, uh, but 100% low code. So basically here uh, we have the query from the agent, which is the domain. Uh, and we want to retrieve right now the text. So when I execute the HTTP request node, uh, you can see that, okay, I have the successful execution here, but this is the HTML. So this one is uh, quite unuseful right now for the agent and it's very long. So I need to convert it to the actual test, the text. 
And for this purpose, I use here the uh, markdown node uh, in NA10. And uh, when I executed this uh, node uh, by giving it uh, the input data, the HTML of the page, you should see that, yeah, I retrieved the whole text uh, from this page and it's very well formatted. Eventually, I need to send it back to the agent. So I use the response variable and I pass the data, which is the formatted text. When performing the scraping, it's quite good to have some kind of proxy because our calls can be blocked by CAPTCHAs or other security systems. So uh, what I use here is basically a web unlocker from Bright Data, which is quite handy. It comes with CAPTCHA solving and um, it's also very easy to set up in NA10 because in this HTTP request node, basically I create an endpoint with a username, password, and the host of uh, our proxy, which I took from the Bright Data dashboard. And uh, we can see that basically when we execute this uh, very simple workflow uh, for the first call to example page, which is amazon.com, uh, we have the output for non-proxy path that the call has been blocked by yeah, some kind of capture or other security system. And for the one that we used web unlocker, uh, we have the full content of the page. So uh, with this kind of tools, with Web Unlocker, we should be able to uh, increase the accuracy of our agent and simply scrape more websites. And this is the URL tool, which works very similar to the text tool. Uh, the only difference is that it returns all the links from the page in the JSON format. Uh, so uh, what we have here is I have also pinned uh, my website for an execution, example execution. And until this moment, it works exactly the same. The difference comes here because we use here HTML node in NA10. And basically this one is responsible for retrieving all links from, uh, from the page. The thing is, uh, it's... Um, it's a bit unclean, I would say, because we have also things like uh, hash and other things that are completely not usable for the agent. So uh, we need to clean it a bit. For example, we need to filter out uh, all the um, empty uh, empty links that have been retrieved by, by this node. And also we want to remove the duplicated ones. So uh, after those operations, we come with about 13 links from, from the page. And finally, we can aggregate them to uh, send back to the, to the agent. And as you can see, among those links, we have also those with uh, social media platforms and so on. So this should be easily uh, recognized by the agent. The cool thing in NA10 is that we can connect uh, many agents uh, into one chain of action. So basically, uh, we can scrape a lot of more data than just the social media links. Uh, so here is a bit more extended uh, workflow, and I added two more agents. Let me start executing uh, those, uh, those agents, and in the meantime, I will tell you what they actually do. So the first agent is the one that you already know. This is the social media agent, and it will return the social media links from the pages. The second one is the company profile agent, and it will create like a quick summary of the uh, company that the agent is currently visiting. And uh, the third one, the third one is the app features agent, uh, because in the input database we have three apps, which are Airtable, Retool, and NA10. They have some uh, app features, so we we may want to extract them and uh, parse them uh, in a JSON format, right? So basically, those agents are currently working. Uh, app features uh, agent is working. And in a few seconds, we should uh, have in an output uh, table in Superbase our, our results of, uh, of the scraping. So uh, as you can see, the agent uh, and the workflow is, uh, has finished the work and the new rows have been inserted. And when we go to the Superbase, we can see that uh, not only the social media column is uh, filled, but also the company profile uh, records are, are present. And we have also the very well unified JSON uh, for uh, app features for Airtable, 
for uh, retool and also for uh, NA10. So basically those are the very uh, handy uh, handy things to do. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and to my newsletter, link in the description and see you in the next video. Bye.